Hey guys, I'm here in Bolsa Chica Wetlands with my uncle. Say hi to the camera. Please. We're in the beginning of the Bolsa Chica Wetlands Trail. Surprisingly, it's still open despite all the madness going on. And it's quite a bit of people, but at least we were able to find parking. So I will be back when we get photo down away from these people. So yeah. So here are all the views from up here in the top of the trail. And here's the really rich neighborhood where all the rich people live. Hopefully one day that will be me living out in these rich neighborhoods near the beach or somewhere near the mountains too. So yeah, very beautiful, lots of grass and plants. Pretty soon everything will dry up because by summertime everything dries up here in California. Okay, so we are getting closer to where the trees are and since so may be cops out here, my uncle is all the way out there in the distance so we don't get in trouble by being really close to each other. I'm pretty sure that can't happen because there's no way there could be cops out here in this lovely place and I know, wearing a Cartoon Network show, and I don't even watch TV anymore. Because I really like that show, it's a really good show, but... Yeah, so I don't know which way we're going, so... I'm just gonna wait, and I'll see you when we get down the trail out there somewhere. Okay, so now, we are down in the bottom of the wetlands, like at zero feet above sea level. Um, look at all that algae, it's very, I mean, it's nice, it makes it look nice, but at the same time it doesn't. The weather's pretty nice, um, it's not that hot, but it's not that cold either. Hopefully it's like this the whole entire time, and it'll be lovely. Okay, so we're heading to that hill all the way out there, hopefully we don't get run over by cars like that. Well, not cars, but trucks. And here's the water. That would be nice if the water got cleaned. Make it really bluish. That would be very nice. Um, here's more of the water out there. Here's another hill. I don't want to go to that hill because that hill seems like it's a hill for hops. It's smaller. Because that hill is taller and it seems more advanced. So what do you say about that, Uncle Matt? Sure, whatever. Okay, so we made it to the not so body hill. Here are the lovely views from up it. Very, very beautiful. And Uncle Matt is on his way up the hill. I don't know which way we're gonna go afterwards, but um, we'll find out. So we're walking near the PCH with lovely Uncle Matt. And there's lots of flowers. I don't know if you can tell, but there's quite a bit of flowers down the ground. And yeah, very nice. The views from up in the hills. They're very clear, very green. So yeah, very nice so far. And I'll get back when we finish this little flat walk. Look at this pelican, guys. And there's also a Canadian goose here. I don't know why that's there, but it's there. Look at that, it's really beautiful. Don't you think so, Uncle Matt? Really big, too. It's not that scared of us, actually. Maybe he's used to us, or she. Look at that Canadian goose. But yeah, very pretty out here. Okay, so on another flat path, yeah, again, and Uncle Matt is checking along all the way out there. And we're gonna head back once we get to the kind of body hill out there somewhere. I don't know if you were able to tell from the camera, but uh, yeah, we still need some ways. Because all the way out there somewhere is where our car is. 
So yeah. Okay, so since we're back to where the lovely million pistol houses are, I'm gonna end the video here. So what did you think of the hike, Uncle Matt? It wasn't that long. Definitely did get warmer. I think it's like now low mid 70s. But there's barely any wind so it feels warmer. So overall this is a pretty good hike. Very easy. A few hills, mostly flat, and beautiful terrain just like this. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and check out my future videos in the nearby future. So yeah, peace.